Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from uh, your Inkscape developer. Um, my name is Martin. I do Inkscape development uh, for users, uh, for users needs and fixes. First of all, I want to give a big thank you to all of my continued supporters. Um, your support helps me to spend uh, three and a half hours a week this month working on Inkscape. So thank you all so much. Um, if you would like to help them, please consider subscribing um, and also consider uh, reaching out to uh, your social media feeds because I know the more people see these videos, the more people will be able to help support it. Um, our outreach seems to be very important, my, uh, my friends are telling me. Um, so let's see what I was able to, to do in the time allowed this week. So multi-page support from last week, that's the thing that we were working on. And this week I wanted to try out the basic structure for pages and I'm I've decided to define the pages in the named view. Uh, the named view is an Inkscape specific structure where we keep things like guidelines. It's also where we keep things like page properties, page borders, shadows, colors, that sort of thing. And you'll notice that this is an Inkscape specific SVG extension. It's not some, something in the SVG itself. Um, and the fact that we had to have this Inkscape specific feature to define things like page color should uh, I think express why pages are pretend in the SVG world right uh, there's no such thing as page color in the SVG uh, and you'll probably have noticed that if you've ever set the page color and then open the SVG up in a web browser the web browser does not respect that page color and just has it as transparent which is what the SVG spec says it should be uh, so the idea here is that we continue this pretense by expanding it further with uh, pages. Um, and the pages are very simple devices. They define areas where pages should exist. And the coding this week has all been about being able to read an SVG file with these in and show those pages on the screen. We, I actually made a little um, recording of me doing the, the, the session so I could basically speed through it and you could see where it is and, and, where, and where we ended up. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy. We we ended up with a displayed set of paid pages. We can't edit them. They don't mean anything. They don't export or import or do anything else. But you can actually have these uh, pages for want, want of a better word. Um, next week, I'm going to be pushing this further. I need to be able to sort out where the pages get displayed in the stack order. And I need to start cleaning up some of the existing page definitions that we use in the desktop definition. So it's basically how the existing page is shown is all baked in and that needs to be unpicked. So uh, refactoring is going to be on the cards for this week. Uh, in other news, uh, we had a nice big leadership meet, 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 meeting to expand voter rights for non-developers. Non um, and we have some practical steps to push that for forwards, which I'm very happy with. Uh, I did fix a couple of Inkscape bugs, uh, added markdown support to the website, which is fun. Uh, we had a couple of documents, uh, documentarians who wanted uh, markdown support, so it's all JavaScript based. And uh, I was helping a new contributor uh, who wanted to be a sysadmin for, for the project uh, because we need a new password manager website set up. So I was helping him uh, basically get credentials and sort out a new ser server for that. Um, and that's about it for this week. These videos are probably going to be shorter, but uh, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next week.